Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to part four of our technical workshops of the National e Invoicing Solution. Uh, in this uh, workshop, we're going to go over the Fatura portal, which is used to onboard your solutions uh, to start sending uh, e invoices to Zatka platform. Now, by this uh, stage, we assume that you have already uh, used the SDK and the integration platform to make sure that your solution is able to generate a compliant XML and you're able to integrate with our platform. So you have to uh, navigate to fatura.zadka.gov.sa. Here you'll be presented with a login screen where you need to enter your uh, your credential, your taxpayer credential that you're using to submit your declarations or access uh, Zadka website. Once you do that, you will be presented with these five options. The first one is used to onboard your solutions. Uh, the second one is to uh, renew uh, your, your already onboarded solutions. Uh, the third option is to view list, uh, the list of all the solutions and devices that you have already onboarded. And then you'll, be have, you'll have access to some statistics regarding the solutions and the number of invoices that you have sent to uh, Zatka platform. And then finally, you'll have a link to the API documentation, which we have seen uh, in part three in the integration sandbox. So to start onboarding your solution, you, you have to go to the first tab where uh, you, it says onboard your uh, new solutions. Uh, so basically here you'll have the, uh, the option to onboard up to 100 devices at the same time. So if you, for example, select uh, five, here you'll uh, be presented with uh, four uh, OTPs or one-time passwords. You'll use these OTPs in your, uh, your commands that we have seen in the previous uh, section where uh, you're requesting uh, CSR. Uh, so you will have the OTP in the request itself and send it to Zatka to uh, generate the, uh, the CSID. Uh, of course, these steps can be automated if your device is, is developed in a way to simulate and automate these steps. You can do it on the device itself without accessing the portal directly from the browser. Now, once you have onboarded your solution using the OTP through APIs, uh, you'll also have an option to renew an existing CSID. So each CSID will have an expiry date and we're going to have a look at it in the third section. So if you have uh, uh, some CSIDs that are about to expire, you can basically, again, through the same steps, you can uh, generate some OTPs to uh, renew these uh, devices without having to go over the uh, compliance checks again. Now, once you have onboarded your solutions, what you can do is you can click on this tab to view all the uh, devices that you have already onboarded. Uh, so basically, you'll have some information about the devices. So as you know, in the CSR, we have provided the common name, uh, the serial number of the device, uh, your VAT number as well, uh, the organization name, uh, organization unit name, and then the organization name itself, uh, the country, the status of each device. Of course, you have active and inactive. Uh, you have the onboarding date, when, when was that onboarded, and then, as we have mentioned before, you'll have the certificate expiry uh, date as well, which is set for five years now by default. So before the end of, of this expiry date, you need to uh, issue a renewal request, as we have seen in the previous example, uh, using the OTPs that we have generated previously. And then you can also, if, if, if uh, you want to decommission some of the devices, you can basically revoke this CSD, CSID to... Uh, remove this device from the active list. Now, the next section that you have is some statistics regarding the invoices that you have generated. Uh, so basically, if you look at this uh, uh, dashboard, you'll have two dashboards. One is for the reported invoices. So this is the invoices that are uh, generated by B2C transaction. You will have the number of uh, documents accepted, whether they are invoices, credit, or debit notes. You will have the number of documents that are accepted, however, with some warnings, and we urge you to look at these warnings and try to rectify them in future requests. And then finally, the documents that were rejected by the platform due to some errors. Similarly, you'll have the same thing for clearance, which is targeted for uh, B2B transactions. Uh, again, you can uh, have access to the same thing, which is the accepted ones, accepted word warnings, and then the rejected ones as well. Of course, you can export these files in, in various formats to have uh, some more details about these uh, uh, invoices. So, uh, of course, you can also have access to the uh, user manual now. 
uh, we will have uh, more details regarding the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the platform. The platform is pretty straightforward. Uh, we believe that if you have passed the first and the second stages, which is the SDK and the integration sandbox, uh, onboarding is going to be uh, as straightforward as, as possible. Uh, please feel free to contact us whenever you need any support. We'll try our best to make sure that uh, all the, your questions are answered and your journey to uh, a successful uh, phase two implementation of e-voicing is as successful as possible. Thank you very much.